Hey Cancer, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here for mid-July. It is a general reading, so just tape what resonates and leave the rest out. Let's see what we got going on here for Cancer. What's going on here for Cancer? Now this energy could be yours, someone in your environment, someone that you're thinking about, so just keep that in mind. First card out, we have the Five of Swords. It's Aquarius energy here. Let's see, what's your challenge? What's crossing you? The sun, Leo energy. Let's see your recent past. We have justice, Libra energy. Your focus is the seven of cups. Somebody's fighting for their happiness here. I mean, someone wants a new, a new start. I mean, again, this could be you wanting different options or new opportunities coming towards you here let's see you have the nine of wands aries leo sag energy but the nine of wands is about boundaries you know protecting your energy here but it kind of pulls more towards um yeah there's going to be opportunities coming towards you cancer but you may not trust all of these opportunities and when i say opportunities this could be working situations or this could be romantic connections but there's there's a, a sense of you being very defensive here let's see near future we have the four swords now four swords somebody is just kind of in this energy of like needing to pull back take a little pause here off something um because see, somebody's, you know, the Five of Swords energy with the sun crossing that, it's like somebody's looking for, you know, freedom, happiness, you know, just kind of going into this energy of just, um, you know, creating, right? But it feels like, you know, there's something here that someone doesn't trust or someone doesn't have the energy to. Interesting. Let's see. We'll get all the cards out first. See in your power what's going on here. We have the Knight of Cups. Let's see uh, your environment. Page of Cups. I mean, you know, I mean, it could be someone that is worried on moving forward here with some sort of communication. Um, it feels like they've they've had some options here in the past. Yeah, with Libra energy here. Let's see. Um, your hopes and fears we have the eight of wands i mean you want connection you want a communication to come in towards you you want this connection too um whoever this resonates with you you do want this to come together here let's see this outcome here for cancer we have the eight of cups walking away wow with the moon underneath the deck this is your energy also pisces energy here Somebody is, um, you know, there's a sense of someone is walking away from something here and moving towards someone, wanting to offer some sort of, um, or at least express some feelings, you know, just kind of offer something here towards someone. Sagittarius energy, Eight of Wands, we have Justice, Libra energy, we have Leo energy. The, the challenge, again, it goes, focuses on the sun, okay? This is about happiness. This is about, um, Someone wanting to move towards something that they really want. Um, but they're in the sense of the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Like, they don't know if this is going to work out. They're not trusting this situation anymore. They feel as though you may walk away from this. Pisces energy here, Eight of Cups. It's like, you know, you, you or someone here is either walking away from a connection and moving towards you, or you may be walking away from this connection. It's one of those things here. Interesting energy. Um, and again, with the moon card, we have that Capricorn full moon. And it's like, there's a lot of emotions going on here. There's a lot of like, um, wondering if this is going to work out. So let's see, what is this seven of cups all about here for cancer? What's this seven of cups about for cancer? You have the seven of wands. Let's get one more card on that. And the five of cups. So they put, whoever this is, um, you know, they put a lot of time and energy into connections or an opportunity that did not work out. 
Okay, so they're in this energy of the Seven of Wands of, um, you know, being very defensive. Uh, you know, not really taking accountability, responsibility for what they've done as well. It's like an energy of like them looking at other options, but they feel like they didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um, but it's kind of going into the sense where this person is starting to realize that, you know, they, they kind of started this this spider web, this this um, this situation that they got themselves into. They kind of got in a sticky situation because it's like these other opportunities that they've invested time into. It's like they're having to deal with that. And um, it's like this person does not want to deal with it with the Seven of Wands. They're like, I don't want to deal with these past people. Um, you know, but they, they really engaged into this. I don't know if this person was trying to make you jealous at one point. They were talking to a lot of different people. Um, but they they got caught up here, okay? <clears throat> There's a sense that this person got caught up. Um, you know, and it's bringing a lot of, it feels like a lot of stress towards this person. So let's see what this Nine of Wands is all about. You have the Two of Wands. I mean, they're in this energy of making a decision here. Let's see the Four of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. It's like they're getting clarity or they, they want to start cutting things off and move forward here into presenting some sort of feelings towards someone, okay? And this could be you towards someone or someone towards you, but someone wants to express feelings. There's discussion, there's communication coming in here. Um, we do have justice. I mean, it's like what goes around comes around type of energy um let's see the knight of cups we have the three of pentacles somebody wanting to rebuild this again page of cups here we have the six of pentacles it's like this person you know in the past here it feels as though maybe you've put a lot into this connection but you didn't really receive that energy that uh that attention back to you it's like when you gave to this person they decided to give that energy that you expected back towards them they gave it to other people it was it was in order to make you jealous they wanted you to for some reason chase them you know they wanted you to um, they felt as if you were too strong like they, they couldn't get things out of you so they decided to do these little games here to see if they can get you. But it's like you walked away from this, too. Eight of Cups is what I'm getting here. It's like you made some changes and you walked away. Let's see the Eight of Wands. The Chariot. That's your energy here. It's like you made the changes necessary. You started moving forward and you walked away from this connection. And this person is starting to feel it now with the Five of Cups. They're like, you know, they didn't expect that you're going to pull this off here. And you have the Four of Pentacles. It's like... You're focused on either working towards your finances. Um, this is a sense of you um, really working hard at something. You could you could have a new idea and you're keeping it to yourself because this person's keeping that pentacle right to their chest there. They're just like, you know what? I'm going to walk away, do something here that makes me happy that's going to involve my finances, but I'm not going to tell everyone about it. I'm going to keep very quiet, you know? Um, and then you have the world at the bottom of the deck here. This is a new beginning. You closed out an old cycle and you're starting something new here for yourself but now this person wants to come back around and offer you what you've been wanting in the past but it's like now the tables have turned with justice being over here it's like see it's like they left you out in the cold five of pentacles you know they they, they blocked you or you know maybe you took off you walked away from this person because you couldn't deal with the the games the immatureness you know just kind of like not being the person that you expected you they they like turned on you here but it's like now either you're see, starting to see who this person is for them um, or you're starting to see who this person really is and you're moving forward here we had the six of wands earlier at the bottom of the deck but um you know you're moving towards victory you're moving towards something here that you're going to be very happy about now let's see the sun because that is a challenging state here we have the Hermit and the Ace of Wands. I mean, and then we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck here. So it could be a masculine type of energy. Uh, doesn't matter male or female. Because um, a lot of a lot of people are in this masculine energy right now because it's an energy of creating something new. So you could be in a masculine energy and this person is in a masculine energy. But what I'm feeling here 
with the Hermit and the Ace of Wands and the Sun as being the challenges, like this person sees you as, you know, someone they want to be with. They they remembering the times that they had with you, um, you know, just the fun times. Like maybe you guys were just kind of goofing around, joking, laughing, having a good time, not really caring about things, and and um, they're starting to remember that, or they they're going through this with the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands here. It's like having clarity here of who they had a lot of fun with, you know? And these Seven of Cups energies, these other people that they're around, it's like it was a very, you know, th their connections were very um, either sexual-based, you know, just to the point of just attraction. Um, but they kind of overlooked the fact that, um, you know, maybe you were a person that cared for them. Maybe you worried if they, you know, if you guys ate lunch or dinner together, you guys just kind of like did things together, you know? And it's like Ace of Wands, they want this new passionate beginning. They have a lot of attraction for you. Um, but they're in this hermit energy, you know. Something's blocked here for, for this person. They can't, um, they want to come forward and offer what you want here, but there's a sense of like, will it work? And it's like, um, it's going to keep this person stuck. You know, it's like one of those things where they have to come forward and, um, and express what they feel. And then it's like rolling the dice and seeing what happens. So for some of you guys, well, let's get three cards. What is the potential outcome here for Cancer? What is the potential outcome? You have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords are all about a decision. Anything too, right? You know, they have the Two of Wands sitting over here. The Two of Wands says that, um, you know, someone, it's in their, the ball's in their court and needing to make a decision. Two of Swords, for me, it feels as though, it's something that's weighing in their head. They're trying to decide what's best for them, right? You have the Magician, okay? Gemini Energy. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a chance, and King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. It feels like, you know, when this person does decide to come forward and express their feelings, you know, there's a decision here that someone needs to make. Or at least it puts them in this uh, energy of like, you know, Okay, well, let's see what, what we could do here. You know, th there is some thought of it. There's like, you know, there's there's discussion of the future. Like, what do you want? You know, does this match up? You know, there's there's that type of discussion here. Because someone's here is in the magician energy. This is someone that is focused on manifesting something that they really want. You know, someone is creating this lifestyle. Again, King of Wands is a visionary. Someone that is looking at how they want their future to look like, right? And they don't have many people around them. They're really focused on, um, you know, this energy. Wow, look at this King of Cups right after that with the Ten of Cups. Oof. All right. So the King of Wands here, this person is looking out to the future and saying, you know what? This is um, how I want my environment to look like. This is how I want my house to look like. This is how I want to live. It's going to be different for everyone, right? But this is the energy. So this person is looking at that, you know, and they're trying to decide, Are is, you know, are you going to fit into this new this lifestyle that I want? That's the energy here. But then you have the King of Cups with the Ten of Cups right after that. So it's like you guys do work out something. You do work something out to where it moves towards something very long term because you do have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is, um, you know, a card of coming together and working together here with your finances um, maybe even in the future discussion of buying a house together. I do see you guys coming together here. I mean, I do. I mean, I get heavy Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We have Virgo energy here, Gemini. We have all the signs out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So um, so I do feel like either either someone has walked away from another connection and they're coming towards you wanting to express something but it's also because you walked away as well but either way with the ten of pentacles it feels as though you guys are going to work something out something is going to work together and it, it quite possibly might be that you guys work as you know just kind of start off as friends not even anything like that you know there's no nothing set in stone it's like you guys just kind of take off you guys do have a discussion here um, there's a delay, meaning that it's going to take some time to build some tr sort of trust here with the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, okay? There's like a discussion. It's like, all right, can we come together? You know, that's the that's the energy here. But it feels like you guys do. Uh, but it takes some time to get into this um, energy of creating this Ten of Pentacles into the Ten of Cups. It's like, it, it's something very long-term. 
a connection that is very long term for you. All right, Cancer. So that is what I'm seeing. That's the energy. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can talk about with the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I mean, this person just has to drop their Seven of Wands energy, their defense here, and just kind of open up. And um, there's a little bit of an ego, you know, Leo energy here that's uh, holding this person back from expressing their feelings. And a lot of it's just because this person is not used to expressing feelings in general, right? So, and a lot of us are not. A lot of us are not. Um, if we feel like when we express something that, you know, someone is going to hurt us. You know, that rejection is going to be something that we don't want sometimes, right? But at the end of the day, if you're feeling this much for someone it's like what do you got to lose you know that's what i'm getting here cancer so if this resonated please do hit the like um if you guys have not subscribed and you feel like um, you know i'm vibing with you here please do so and uh, hit that bell button for future readings i'll be coming out some more here for you guys so keep an eye out for that and um until next time we'll see ya. you guys have a good one